We will soon enter a new era of astronomy if everything goes according to a plan. The James Webb Space Telescope, the world's largest, most expensive, and sophisticated space telescope, has launched into orbit and is on its way to its final destination. For the thousands of scientists, engineers, managers, and support workers who worked to bring the $10 billion James Webb Space Telescope to this point, the launch on Christmas Day 2021 was both exciting and terrifying. JWST is sometimes described as a replacement for the Hubble Space Telescope, but I like to think of it as a compliment. Hubble has been in operation for more than 30 years, providing us with breathtaking views of the universe as well as tens of thousands of scientific findings. We hope and expect it will continue to operate for many years to come. So without further ado, let's have a look at the latest photographs from the James Webb Telescope. James Webb Space Telescope practiced tracking an asteroid for the first time. As the telescope nears the end of its six-month commissioning period, NASA's next-generation space telescope successfully saw a moving asteroid. The successful tracking of a local object demonstrates that the James Webb Space Telescope can keep an eye on solar system objects as well as the distant galaxies, stars, and other faraway objects it will likely view over the course of its 20-year existence. Webb's capacity to view close targets will enable it to study everything from frozen objects in the Kuiper Belt to potentially habitable moons orbiting our solar system's gas giant planets. 6481 Tenzing, a main belt asteroid named after Tenzing Norgay, was chosen for the observing exercise along with Edmund Hillary, the Tibetan mountaineer, was one of the first two people to reach the peak of Mount Everest. The web observations happened to fall only a few days before the 69th anniversary of their meeting on May 29, 1953. According to NASA, Webb has a few additional obstacles in tracking a moving target, including the need to switch between slightly cooler and hotter attitudes, which could compromise the precise alignment of mirrors and instruments. However, scientists believe that the information that the telescope will deliver to our outer solar system is worth the trouble, particularly for planets like Uranus and Neptune, which have only had a single ship visit them so far. Thousands of galaxies photobombed JWST, a spiky image of a faraway star photobombed by hundreds of old galaxies, was captured by NASA's new space telescope as it stared into the distant universe. The James Webb Space Telescope's image released was a test shot, not an artificial science observation, to see how its 18 hexagonal mirrors worked together to create a single coordinated image captured 1 million miles, which is approximately 1.6 million kilometers away from Earth. It worked out better than expected, according to officials. NASA studied a much closer star with 18 independent photos from its mirror parts previously. HD 84406, a star in the constellation Ursa Major, is 258 light years away. Scientists claimed that they were excited as they awaited the results of the current test. NASA's test image was focused toward a star that is 100 times fainter than visible to the naked eye. HD 84406 is 2,000 light years away from this star, known as 2 mass J17554042 plus 6551277. A light year away is approximately 6 trillion miles long. Because of Webb's mirrors and filters, the sparkling star appeared more red and spiky, but the backdrop stole the show. You can't help but notice those hundreds of galaxies behind it really magnificent, Web Operations Project scientist Jane Rigby said. For billions of years, the galaxies have existed. According to researchers, Webb will be able to peer so far out and back in time that it will only be a few hundred million years after the Big Bang. Large Magellanic Cloud The Large Magellanic Cloud is brighter than ever in the James Webb Space Telescope's infrared eyes. According to officials, Webb's latest image showcased the telescope's literally stellar performance utilizing its coldest equipment. The infrared instrument, as the $10 billion observatory approaches the home stretch of its commissioning work, 
The new MIRI image revealed the chemistry of interstellar space in greater detail than ever before, including emission from carbon and hydrogen molecules, known as polycyclic aromatic hydrocarbons, which are thought to constitute some of life's building components. Officials noted during a live stream press conference Monday that this imaging capacity is critical to Webb's understanding of how stars and protoplanetary systems develop. According to Chris Evans, the telescope's project scientist at the European Space Agency, they've done a lot of studies of stars and planet formation in our own galaxy, but they're now looking at it in the Magellanic Clouds, which are small external galaxies that are chemically less evolved than our own Milky Way. As a result, the scientist will be able to study the processes of star and planet formation in a galaxy that is significantly different from our own. The image, which was acquired at a resolution of 7.7 .7 microns, gives a clear glimpse of the nearby Large Magellanic Cloud, a dwarf galaxy that orbits the Milky Way. Engineers also re-released an image from the now-retired Spitzer Space Telescope at 8.0 microns, alongside the Webb image. Spitzer was a pioneer in generating high-resolution photographs of the near- and mid-infrared universe when it was launched, but Webb is far more powerful. Near-cam alignment selfie, the primary mirror of NASA's James Webb Space Telescope, is working as planned throughout its month-long alignment procedure, according to an early series of photos collected by the spacecraft. The near-infrared camera, one of the JWST's instruments, produced an image mosaic on February 11th. The photos were taken during a research of a sky region near the full moon, looking for light from the same star, HD 84406, because JWST's segmented primary mirror is not yet oriented. The mosaic contains 18 photos of the star, one for each segment. Webb's first three weeks in space were spent deploying its solar array and high-speed antenna, as well as its secondary mirror, six of the primary mirror's 18 segments, that were folded away for launch and extending a tennis court-sized sunshade to block out the sun, earth, and moon's light and heat. James Webb Space Telescope alignment image of 2 mass J1755-4042-655-1277 On March 11, 2022, the James Webb Space Telescope primary mirror, which is made up of 18 hexagonal segments, was brought into focus. By focusing the telescope towards a single star, 2 mass J1755-4042-655-1277, with new others in its neighborhood, as part of a method known as fine facing. This image was known as the alignment image. The resolution precision was increased to an incredible 50 nanometers by merging the 18 different photos. And this is just a small sample of the wavelengths web will catch once the actual work begins. The star in the center, which is undeniably beautiful, is what most people perceive. The real beauty though is the unfathomable number of ancient galaxies in the backdrop. What are your thoughts on James Webb's telescope? Are you excited to know more about James Webb's interstellar mysteries? Please let us know in the comment section below. Thanks for watching guys! Don't forget to like this video, subscribe, and click the notification bell.